Hey guys, welcome back to Bunny Igloo, welcome back to the van. Hope you had a good Christmas, Hanukkah, Yule, Eid, whatever it is you celebrated over the winter solstice. We're back and today I'm going to show you how we, through our travels, keep ourselves clean and hygienic in the van. And I'm going to show you, just give you a showcase of the hot water heater and uh, just a demonstration of the shower. Just in case you were thinking of either doing this yourself, this will just give you a bit of a rundown of uh, what it entails. So as you know, we live in the van full time. That's why we wanted to get a water system all of our own because a lot of people who do van life, they rely on like gym memberships or going to a friend's to shower or that sort of thing, or even a hotel. But that is expensive and to be honest, quite wasteful. And it's not something you want to do if you're living in, in the van permanently because that means you'll never have your own place to wash. So that's what I built using our gas system combined with a Truma hot water heater which goes up to 70 degrees and gets it to full temperature in about 15 minutes which is amazing uh, which is piped all the way through the floor here to our shower which is a nice thermostatic shower because that water comes out very hot so you want to be able to control the temperature very carefully. There's a knob for water pressure and there's a knob for heat so you can have it the exact temperature you want which is really nice to have and it's like a really nice look luxury in the van it's not just like getting a bowl of hot water and trying to scrub yourself it's an actual nice hot shower you can wash your hair you can have a rinse underneath the cascade it's absolutely amazing when you're on the road you do not want to be mr poopy butthole that is not a good look for anyone <laughs> whoa wait whoa wait <laughs> if you feel dirty and groggy and sticky and all of your bits are sticking to all of your other bits you're not gonna feel good or feel sexy honestly it'll tone down everything in your life because you won't be feeling is good you'd not want to be a sticky sticky but sex becomes something dangerous if you are not hygienic with it if you or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife or husband is feeling really dirty then you're probably not going to want to dick them quite as much which is bad because that is good for a relationship so what I'm saying is, if you're in van life, getting a water system is good for your relationship. That's why you should follow this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So this is our gas locker. We've just filled it up and that supplies their gas for our cooking and hot water needs. And it's very handy. It's one of the best systems we've had. It has a regulator to keep it at uh, 30 millibar pressure. So the gas is all safe to come out. And it also has a drop out to prevent any leakage or anything like that. We have it routing to the oven at the far end and the Truma just over here. There we go, that is all switched on and the water is heating. We can have this in the video. And this is the non-graceful bit. So no one can look dignified when taking their trousers off. I, I learned this from watching my mother, how to wrap a towel as a woman. Where are your breasts? I'm shy about my small breasts. Don't judge me. I'm going to shower now. <laughs> Another thing in van life is important to use natural soap. This is actually homemade soap, so it's not going to do any harm to anything or anyone when it comes out of the van. It just goes into the garbage. Oh, God, that feels fucking good. Another important thing to do to help your hot shower last longer is to have a nice rinse, but after that, pause it for a second and lather yourself up without, you know, having water pouring the entire time. That just means you get to have a much longer, nicer shower. Washing them up. Ah! Fuck. Harm! And the water goes into the drain just along this way and out down into where our wastewater tank would be if we had one. Which we intend to get, but we we're worried about it freezing and breaking, which would be an absolute disaster. So, oh. also, if you keep the water heater on whilst you're showering, it helps you go for longer as well. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This has been very fun for me, at least. And I hope you learned a thing or two about how you, you might do bathing in your van if you ever decide to do it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the bell icon, otherwise subscribing is useless. And thank you so much, guys. Follow us on Van Life Weirdos on Instagram for more Van Life content and more behind the scenes stuff, all that kind of thing. That's where we upload it. Oh, that was a nice long shower. <sighs> I don't even know what to say now, I'm so relaxed. <laughs> Bye guys. Sorry if you missed wifey, she's the cameraman today. See you later guys, bye bye.